It's time for another challenge. Your challenge this time is to pause the video and modify Bullseye to keep track and report the current round of the game. This is a review of even more techniques that you've learned in this course. To do this, you have to do three things. First, keep track of the current round number starting at one. Second, increment it whenever a new round starts. And third, display the current round number in the appropriate label. Remember, these challenges are important because the process of trying things on your own and repeating what you learned is exactly how it really sinks in. So give it a shot, and if you get stuck, keep watching for the solution. So we're back in Bullseye and we want to modify the app to track the rounds. It's going to start out at round one and every time we play a round, it should increase the next number. Okay, so we obviously need a state variable to keep track of this. Anytime we have some information about the game, um, and we should have a property for it um, and tie it, bind it to something that's displayed in the UI. So at state var round equals one. To review, anytime we change this variable because it's marked with at state, it's going to refresh the body automatically for us. Okay, so when we tap the dismiss button on the alert, we want to increment the round. So that's where we do self.round equals self.round plus one. And then we also need to update the round label to show that. So we use our string interpolation slash two parentheses and inside we put round. That's all there is to it. Now I can build and run. 19, something like that. Okay, so I scored 99 points. The round is starting at one, and now it's two. If I hit it again, it's three, and so on.